Okay, so part two um, of my Givy Top Box rear LED lights. That's going to go onto there, so you can see uh, the the mounting plate that's there, um, and this is the rack that it fits onto. Um, so, just to talk you through the circuit that I've got, um, this one here, this cable here, I fed that in to the rear brake lights. Okay, uh, and this one here, this one here is the rear light which is the ignition switch uh, operated so as soon as the ignition comes on the back light comes on and that's the feed for that there so I've powered my 12 volt uh, so my relay from here uh, just to kind of release the, the load uh, on the circuit uh, and I followed this down to here uh, and just put a split in here okay um, so this circuit then continues into the relay but it also powers this cable and if we follow this cable along that one there here this is the diode and the resistor that I was talking to you about so here I've connected the diode into the cable so that's the live feed yeah and this is going to feed the uh, LED lights so they're always going to be on all right so this is the cable that feeds uh, that runs off the rear brake light sorry the rear light not the brake light the rear light uh, and here's the resistor for it so I fed a resistor into the circuit and then that carries on all the way up and it will connect up to this part here and this is the positive for the rear light this is the positive for the rear brake light so what will happen is that when the because the LEDs are single element bulbs when the the box is on the top yeah and I turn the ignition on it will get power from this cable all the time okay uh, and because it's got a resistor on it the lights will be a little bit dimmer than what they normally should be because it's not the full power that's coming through due to the resistor then this cable will also be connected into the positive so both of those will be connected into the positive uh, but that's connected to the unre uh, unrestricted unresisted 12 volts that feeds the rear brake light so when I put the brakes on the rear light okay this will send the current that will override that yeah um, and the lights will come on brighter so it will give that element it will give that um, uh, indication that the the, uh, the bike's braking um, obviously you've got this one here but when you've got the big top box on the back which is a fairly bit fairly large uh, top box um, you know it gives you uh, some more more visibility so people behind you will be able to see what the uh, uh, sorry the fact that you're braking but also will be able to see you in the dark when you've got uh, your lights on uh, as well so that's the circuit so what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to uh, insulate all of this okay up until here make it nice and tight uh, and waterproof as well so you can see i've done I insulated all of these things as well i didn't have black insulation tape so i took all the red um, so i'm going to insulate all of that make that nice and tight and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount the top uh, top plate here um, and then i'm going to also run a negative feed uh, which i need to so um, i'm going to run a, a negative so these two are going to be the positive there obviously needs to be a negative as well uh, which i'll run from here uh, probably through here and mount it somewhere uh, i've got a, everything mounted to the frame here at the moment um, it's getting a bit much so um, i'll have a look i might just snip this make it a little bit shorter uh, put another one of those on but feed uh, two cables into it and mount it there uh, and then i'll have that one running all the way from there down to here or if that gets a bit long, then uh, I'll find well, I'll find somewhere to mount it. I'm sure. But yeah, uh, so that's part two, um, and part three will be when it's all done. Um, so uh, yeah, before I actually go away, um, what I'm planning to do with these, you know, I mentioned that my top box is uh, one that's detachable, and I want to be able to take it off without fiddling about with the connections. So this I'm planning on um, actually screwing in uh, using these connectors using these one of these ring connectors um, and screwing it into the actual plate uh, and I'll show you that once it's all done 
um, but essentially there will be my terminal points for the positive uh, and the negative which will correspond with the positive and the negative from the top box so whenever I put it in it will always be connected